So welcome back to the next part of the Hack and Slash tutorial series. In this video, we're going to work on a double jump system. So double jump, it works as you expect. If player hits the space bar twice while in the air, or hit it once while he's already in the air, he'll double jump. But the player can spam it twice and he'll double jump immediately. If the player falls off a cliff and or walks off a cliff edge, he'll double jump instead of playing his normal jump. We also have double jump end behaviors, which is different from our just regular jumps. We also implemented um, iframes for our dodges, which can't really see now, but once you get AIs and have AIs do damage, we'll definitely be able to see that in action. It was something I forgot to do in the last video. And so if you guys want the project to for yourself, join my Patreon. Without further ado, let's get started. So welcome back. In the last episode, we worked on our dodging system. So if we hit shift, we can dodge in any direction we want. But one thing I forgot to add was iframes. So I want to set up iframes so we don't have to go back later in the series and get that implemented. So let's start with that. And it's real simple. First thing we're going to do is open up our player character. So if I have blueprints, set up here. We're going to make a variable called enable B, enable iframe. And so that's simply what we're going to do. We're going to make two functions. We're going to set enable set iframes. And this is going to have an input of boolean. And it's going to be B, enable iframes. So basically this function, we'll call this function to set our iframes just like that and then if you want we can also make a function to get the iframes is iframes enabled and the reason why I'm making functions is that it's better to have these functions um, instead of calling variables it's a lot neater in the Unreal Engine um, event graph it just looks a lot nicer with events or functions instead of variables all over the place So we're just going to return, it's going to be a return value. And we're simply just going to return if our iframes is enabled. Plug that in, put that in here. There we go. And the other thing is to make an anim notify state. So right here in save dodge, we're just going to duplicate that. And it's going to be enable iframes. Open this up, side notify tick. You can copy these two. Or we can delete the rest right click on this and hit delete we're only going to overwrite the beginning and end so paste that in and off of this pin we're going to hit set iframes and we're going to check this on the begin event or begin notify and then we're going to uncheck that at the end Right here on notify end, we're going to uncheck it. Just like that. Wait a second a little bit. There you go. And we just need to apply that to our animations. So let's find our dodge animation, which I should have, which is right here, dodge montage. Let's open this up. Let's add another track, make this iframes. So enable iframes, I'm just gonna drag this here, all the way down to the recovery parts. So maybe right around here. Nice, right here, I think we can extend this a little bit more. 40 and 35. Let's give this a try now. Nice. Let me change this lower a little bit so I can get more frames. Might start lagging because my computer is not the best. Alright, so the other thing I wanted to cover in this video is a double jump system. And so we're going to use this functionality here. But the first thing I want to do is actually um, check on this input action. And we can add a pressed trigger. And save everything. There you go. And so if we check now, if I open up the debugger, so I'll show enhanced input. Oh, maybe did I not? 
There we go. And if I hit space, it should only fire off once. Very good. Nice, perfect. So after we jump, um, we're going to do another test here. So let's pull this out and we're going to make a branch here. So what this branch is going to check is whether or not we are falling. And so there's two ways we can fall. Either we run off a cliff or we jump. If we jump or run off a cliff, our movement mode will be falling. So if we get is falling. If that is true, then we want to double jump. If it's false, then we just want a regular jump. So let's uh, plug that on, plug that there. And for our double jump, we're just gonna do a do once. So on our do once, we're going to um, set a variable. Let's make another Boolean variable, call this B double jump. And we're going to set this to true. And this variable is what we're gonna use to for our uh, animation blueprint. So we can get that different um, animations depending on which type of jump we did. So if we jump normally, we have a certain animation. If we double jump, we get another animation. After we set that true, we're gonna play a montage. Or play and a montage. You guys can use the play montage node if you like, but I personally like the play and a montage. And then off of here, we're going to launch. So just launch character. And here we're going to override. I don't think we need to override anything. We just need to add a Z. I think we can just make it like 300. We can modify that later on here. Actually, we can actually make this a variable here or we split this first split. And then let's promote the Z value to a variable. Call this jump or double jump. Jump mm, velocity city. Nice, and then we need to get a montage, so let's promote this to variable as well. So double jump montage. And now let's find ourselves the montage. To be over to assets, animation, I think it's here somewhere, movement, jump. Nope, not that one. Movement, double jump. So I have this one, which is the falling version, and I have the landing, and then I have the roll. I'm gonna need the roll, so we're just gonna to to create an montage. Call this am underscore. There we go. And we're gonna plug this double jump into our animation here. And let's see if it works. Just simply, just wondering to see if it works. So it works. Just once as the do now, the uh, do once node. So let me bump this up a little bit. Over here, let me open up my double jump animation. So right here, let's we fruit force root lock. Let's see how that works. Okay. So not too bad. Okay, yeah, it's working all right. So next thing I want to do is grab this falling version and plug that in somewhere. So here in our character, let's open up our animation blueprint this up in our locomotion we're gonna pull off of this yep we're gonna pull off of this actually and do a double jump Oop. and then we're going to pull off of this it's going to be double jump end and just like the end loop you can go here to here and then here to here so the only way we can double jump is if we are falling off a cliff, so possibly we should be in the jump loop in that state. If we fall off a cliff, we should be in the loop and then we can double jump. Um, if you want, you can also pull in the start, but for now let's see if this works. Let me go into our event graph and let's pull off a variable that we need. So right here, grab the owner, and then we want to get the um, is double jump. Get double jumped, and we're going to promote this to variable. Double jump. Okay. Okay, so right here, we're gonna check if we double jump, and then we want to go there, 
here and see not falling. Double jump and falling. So let's and Damien is falling. So I actually want to copy all of this. I want to do this. And maybe not. Let's see, maybe if we just do not falling. So not. Damien. So we're not falling. And then here from our double jump end to our run. Pretty sure we can just use this, which is walk to run. Do what this says. If speed is greater than, yep, that looks about right. So walk run. And then from this to this, it's going to be a use automatic rule transition. So if we compile, we shouldn't have any issues. Nice, so let's test this real quick. Forgot we don't have animations in here. Double jump loop. It's easier if I just find it through here. And then for the end, same thing. Open this, grab this. Put it in here. Compile. Alright, now we should have the animations in. Okay, let me set this to force relock. Do this. It should also be force relock. Nice. Okay. Let's see that after the landing. Okay, yeah, it's working great. Now, let's see. Here, so we need a way to reset this. So there is an event called on landed. See if I can right click on landed. And so this event will call when the character lands. So we're gonna make this on landed event. Let's give it a color. And so here, all landed, we want to call that make an event here. So custom event, call it reset, there we go. So on landed, you want to reset double jump. And so reset double jump should also, should clear the do once node, but it should also clear the variable as it's resetting the jump. So if it resets the jump, it should also reset the variable as well. So if we give this a go, should we have a double jump? Nice. Nice, so we can double jump multiple times. Now I want to modify this value real quick. Maybe push it up to a thousand. Mm, maybe I want to override Z. Let's see how that looks seems that if I'm falling and then I try to launch up, I lose a lot of that momentum. Let's see, if overriding the Z might help. Mm, so overriding the Z didn't do a whole lot either. So let's see, let's bump that back up to 1000. So yeah, that's a lot better. It's a lot better, but as you can see, the player can probably jump over. So maybe let's drop this down to 800 maybe. Okay, so the double jump still works. See so this jump over, so I can jump over the walls. Nice. And it seems to be working. Nice. So we covered everything we needed in this video. We got a double jump system all good and ready to go. Um, character will be able to jump multiple times. Now one thing I want to test out is if we fall, will the player be able to jump? Double jump, will the player play a double jump or will we just play a normal jump? So let's if we fall, boom, double jump. So instead of a normal jump, when he's on the ground, he'll play double jump, he's already falling. So perfect, it's working just exactly how I wanted. So that'll be it for this video. See you next time.